This is the top five best metal loadouts on Warzone and Rebirth Island. This is going to be everything you need with very low recoil and honestly the most powerful weapons. So the first thing I want to start out with is the WSP9 because technically this is the most meta weapon after the Superior nerf. Now the Superior is still technically my favorite but I want to give you guys the most powerful by stats. So that's the WSP9. So first we're starting off with the Zemin 35 Compensated Flash Hire that shortens the radar pings, vertical recoil, horizontal recoil, and firing aim stability goes up. Now, you lose some aim out sight speed and bullet velocity, which isn't really a big deal. It's only a 5% reduction, and you get 15% vertical recoil control and 5% horizontal recoil control. You lose a bit of ADS speed, but it wasn't something that I really noticed, especially with this build at the very end you'll see. Put on the Bruin Heavy Support Grip for the gun kick control, aim out sway, horizontal recoil, and firing aim stability at the cost of aim down sight speed and vertical recoil now your vertical recoil goes down four percent so you still have a significant 11 percent increase of vertical recoil the horizontal recoil control goes down by eight percent so now you have an even higher increase i think it's about 12 percent if i'm not mistaken and then the recoil gun kick goes down by 10 percent now the ads speed goes down by 12 percent and you would think oh man this is something significant i'm going to notice it but with this entire build you're not going to notice it we're going to put on the 40 round mag i don't want to put on the 50 just because the cons are essentially double for 10 more bullets when this doesn't even shoot fast as it is i mean it's a very powerful weapon that shoots kind of slow so i think you only need 40 i think 40 can honestly take down an entire team and just to show you guys what i mean if you guys look like it's just so significant the difference between 40 and 50 i just think that 40 is just so much better then i put on the marauder grip for gun control firing aim stability and recoil control at the cost of aiming out of sway it is very helpful for the recoil control it's a very significant increase of control so this is the one that i chose and finally to top it all off i put on the no stock for sprint to fire speed movement speed aim walking speed and aim down sight speed I know you guys see the cons, I know it looks terrible, believe me, but with everything on here, it just makes it so much better. You're not even going to notice any of the cons. It's kind of like a super balanced, super movement build SMG. It really gets the job done from any distance. So, going into the firing range with this weapon is absolutely beautiful. It's one of the easiest weapons to use, in my opinion. I would just keep it short to medium range, because long range with this sight is not really a a recipe for success so try to keep it short to medium range it's kind of where you'll still be able to see your target long range it'll just be a little bit too hard in my opinion plus this weapon is actually built for short to medium range so let's keep it that way and here's the entire class before like i said before take a picture screenshot whatever you guys have to do next is the holger 26 and this is the best weapon for medium and long range engagements short range you're most likely going to lose i'm not going to lie unless the person absolutely sucks it just takes a little bit too long to actually take you down at short range but in every other range is perfect now zemin 35 Compensated flash hider for a shorter radar pings, vertical recoil, horizontal recoil, and firing aim stability at the cost of aim down sight speed and bullet velocity, which you're not going to notice because of all the things that we're going to be putting on there later on. We're putting on the Holger factory barrel for bullet velocity and range, recoil control, and gun kick control at the cost of aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. It helps a range by 20% for both effective and minimum damage range, and then 10% for bullet velocity, which is insane. And then the recoil control goes up a little bit too, which is pretty optimal. Put on the Bruin Heavy Support Grip for gun kick control, aiming out of sway, horizontal recoil, and firing aim stability at the cost of aim down sight speed and vertical recoil. I went through every single one of these, even the Bruin Pivot Vertical Grip and the Bruin Heavy Support Grip was just the best choice overall. Jack Glasses Optic is my personal preference. I see some people using the Optic. I see some people using the Iron Sight. Whatever you guys want to do is completely up to you. This is just what I like to use. Finally, I put on the Ascent Lord stock for aiming out of sway, recoil control, gun control, and firing aim stability at the cost of sprint to fire speed, sprint speed, crouch movement speed, and aim walking speed. Things that don't really matter in my opinion. The recoil gun kick goes down by 18% and the horizontal and vertical recoil control go down by 7%, which is fantastic. You lose some mobility and handling perks, but I mean, it just doesn't really matter in my opinion. Here's the entire class right here. And just to show you guys how powerful this is in the firing range, it's honestly super easy to use. I think it's honestly the best long range weapon. Like I said, it's pretty decent at mid to long range. That's what it's meant for. Short range, it's just okay. Like short range, you see it takes a little bit longer to kill, but as long as they're not in your face, you most likely will survive. If they are this distance, like just this distance, then you're most likely gonna win it. But if they're right in your face, do not expect to beat an SMG with this weapon just because it's not really, I don't really know how to put it, whether it's fast enough, not strong enough, whatever it needs to be, it's just not, that but here's the entire class for the holger 26 so make sure you guys are putting this on your setup it's absolutely amazing next is the 
Next is the competitive SVA 545. This weapon is absolutely amazing. Technically the best AR in the game right now. Throw on the VT7 Spirit Fire Suppressor for being undetectable by the radar. Recoil control, bullet velocity, and range. Now this helps with the range for effective and minimum damage range by 5% and the bullet velocity by 8%. And it helps with the recoil control by 7%. So, I mean, this is pretty nice. Next, put on the STV Precision Barrel for the aiming out of sway, bullet velocity, and range, recoil control, and gun kick control at the cost of aim out sight speed, hip fire attack stand spread, aim walking speed, and sprint to fire speed. Now, the range increase is amazing, 13, 12, and 15% across the board, and then the recoil control goes up by 4% and 8% for horizontal and vertical recoil. Now, it does seem like the accuracy goes down, but it's only hip firing, which does not matter. Mobility goes down a little bit, but it's an AR, and handling goes down a little bit, once again, it's an AR. Put on the 5.45 high green rounds, this thing is absolutely amazing for a bullet velocity and damage range. It goes up 15% across the board, and the only thing that goes down is the recoil control, which we already took care of. I put on the 60 round mag because with this weapon you want as many bullets as possible and because we're going to be putting on burst fire where it shoots even faster you're going to want to make sure you have as much bullets to compensate for that. I finally put on the jack glasses optic. If you want to use something else be my guess but this is what I like to use and just to show you guys it's just ridiculously easy to actually use this weapon especially if you have a super trap like super fast trigger finger then you're going to be taking enemies down a lot quicker. See me I don't have a super fast trigger finger so this isn't something that like I like to go with but as you guys see like if you guys have a very fast trigger your finger this is going to be like something where you're most likely going to like take the enemies out pretty quick at pretty much any distance so this is the best class setup for the sva please put this down please try it out pick, pick a picture screenshot whatever you guys have to do it's just absolutely amazing next is the superior 46 this is my absolute favorite smg in the game right now i would say honestly favorite weapon because that's fantastic range along with everything else but this is my build right here i put on the zemin 35 compensated flash hider for the shorter radar pings vertical recoil horizontal recoil and firing instability at the cost of aim down sight speed and bullet velocity this thing is absolutely ideal it really gets the job done i mean i went through all all of them because i wanted to kind of test out all the sorts of muzzles that would be optimal for the Zem uh, the superior 46 and this thing is just really the best one overall next i put on the extra k edge bw4 hand stop for aim walking speed movement speed aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed at the cost of aim walking standards and hit fire attack stand spread now this thing is fantastic for a movement build now, if you're somebody that cares a little bit more about the ADS, then you can go with the DR6 hand stop. But I care a little bit more about the movement, so this was fantastic for strafing. I put the Zulu Ops 3 light barrel for crouch movement speed and aim walking movement speed at the cost of hip fire and attack stand spread and flinch resistance. Now, even though it shows your flinch go up, here's the thing. I don't think that it really goes up that much because I'm pretty sure focus is built into the loadouts. Actually, might be built into Warzone in general, so it just doesn't really matter. But the movement speed goes up significantly, and the crouch movement speed goes up significantly. These are just things you cannot ignore. 40 round mag, because that's as high as it goes, and it's honestly just the best choice overall. And finally, I put on the jack cutthroat for the aim walking speed, well, aim walking steadiness, and movement speed. You lose aiming out of sway, attack stand spread, recoil control, and gun kick control, but it does not matter. Your ADS movement speed goes up 14%, which is ridiculous. Some people like using the rescue nine. It's just not my cup of tea. You do move a bit faster than the jack cutthroat. But in my opinion, I just think the Jack Cutthroat is better overall, especially for the ADS movement speed, and you still get a movement speed increase. Here's the entire class setup for it right here. And just to show you how actually insane it is, you're flying. Look at this. You're absolutely flying, and people are going to have a hard time hitting you. So you have this low recoil weapon, and you can't get, even get hit. So it's just a recipe for like one of the best weapons in the game. If you're not trying this weapon out, you're honestly missing out. I guarantee you there are going to be a ton of people that use this setup that take you down if you're not using it. So please try it out for yourself. And finally, the Holger 556 this is a weapon I genuinely enjoy using when I want to not sweat as much with the Holger 26. If I'm giving challenges and, you know, I have to use an AR, then this is definitely one of the best ARs in the game right now, especially if you don't want to use the SVA. Go on the cast is break for the horizontal recoil and firing aim stability at the cost of aim down sight speed. This is a little bit different than the Zemin 35. I just think that the Cassis Break is actually more ideal for the Holger 556 versus the Zemin 35 I use for the Holger 26. Throwing the Cheerio 6 match for the bullet velocity and range, recoil control and gun kick control at the cost of aim down sight speed, aiming out of sway and sprint to fire speed. It goes up 20% for effective and minimum damage range and 11% for bullet velocity. Recoil control goes up significantly, which is pretty awesome. Then I put on the Bruin Pivot Vertical Grip for the gun kick control, vertical recoil, aiming out of sway and firing aim stability at the cost of horizontal recoil, aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. This helps the recoil control significantly at 16% and the vertical recoil at 12%. 
absolutely ideal you want to have this on there 40 round mag just because that's the size it can go unfortunately and finally the jack glasses optic i absolutely love this and this thing just does so much damage now in my opinion it has a little bit more recoil than the holger 26 but it still is the optimal ar if you want a fully automatic ar that gets the job done you don't want to rely on your trigger finger and this ar really is so powerful so here's the entire class setup for this and do me a giant favor if you haven't already let me know which class setup is your favorite in this video.